Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. This week I'm getting my spring on and I'm gonna finish this baby chick. I want to use some of this white iridized glass in the background on the sky. And then when I'm ready to flip it over, I'm gonna do the same thing on the back. So hoping to finish that up and I'm done with the grass so I can clean up the green over here. And I want to start a new project. And so the first thing that I do is I go to my notebook to see what my sketches look like. And so I am going to hit the notebook hard and come up with my next idea so that I can prep a substrate for it. But I don't know which one yet, so I have to think about it first. That's it. these two mosaics and this egg came out quite nice with the white grout a lot of the glass on there is iridized I like how it looks the only thing left to do is I'm going to put a single D ring on the back so that I can hang it and then that one will be finished but this one I don't quite like how it turned out I like the white grout with the white um, eggshell type finish that wasn't a problem, but I don't like how it fractured my chick and the grass just a little bit. So I am going to take an acrylic wash in yellow and in green and go over that right now. I finished painting the yellow and the green onto the grout and wiping it off and I'm very pleased with how much better it looks. 
uh, both the chick and the grass. Unfortunately, I was a little sloppy with the green, so I'm going to just come in with some acrylic white and cover that up. egg mosaic I decided instead of putting a d-ring on the back I would just use this little plate stand it's perfect it just takes a small one to hold it and that's just right hey everyone it's a beautiful day and so I am going to prep the substrate by cutting it down outside here on my patio table before I start I want to talk a little bit about sort of these foam core options that are out there the first is weedy board and it comes in 1 8 inch to 2 inch thicknesses. The one that I'm using today is called Hydroband Board. It says it is lightweight construction panel designed to be used in boarded tile or stone installations. It's made with high density XPS waterproof foam core and a reinforced waterproof membrane on both sides. And it's available in quarter inch to two inch thicknesses. And then the last one is called Go Board. And I don't have the information on what uh, thicknesses it comes in, but it is very similar to the other products. So all of these can be used in uh, shower installations where a waterproof membrane uh, is needed. And so it makes an excellent substrate for mosaics because it is lightweight. And now I'm just going to use my utility knife and cut this down. Let's get after it. So to attach this hanging hardware, I've got a weedy washer and a screw. And on the other side, I'm just using a regular washer and then a nut, I know, then a D-ring and then a nut. And the tricky thing is I have to use the screwdriver and I'll have to probably use a wrench to hold it, but I'm gonna see if I can get the, the nut started just by doing it by hand, by having it all lined up. And let's see. Ooh, got it. Very nice. And now for the other one, I've got the weedy washer and the screw. And now on the back, I will put a regular washer, the D-ring, and a nut. And I will hold it with one hand. And see if I can get the nut started here by screwing it. Oh, there we go, I got it. The idea for this mosaic is to make an abstract vertical garden piece because I live in Georgia and Georgia is known for its trees and I have so many trees in my yard I can barely plant anything that needs sun because I have almost 100% shade. So I am going to pay tribute to all those wonderful trees and that wonderful shade in this vertical mosaic. So on this substrate of hydroband board I am prepping it by putting alkali resistant fiberglass mesh that's sticky on the edges and I will um, do a scratch coat on this because unlike weedy board it doesn't have a cementious coat on it. Weedy board has this cementious coat and so like sticks to like and the thin set sticks better. This does not so I'll be putting a scratch coat on it and um, just doing the front and then I will let that cure for a day before I flip it and do the edges and the back. And slaking for eight minutes so now I can give it a good stir. I started prepping another substrate 
And this one I started with a piece of cradle board and I have painted it black. This is, will be the back and this will be where I put the mosaic. And so I have cut a piece of weedy. This is the very thin, I don't know if it's eighth inch or quarter inch, but I'm just putting it in there because I will be using thin set as an adhesive and I want the weedy to give it a little bit more strength to support the small tea and to adhere the thin set to a little bit better. Now I have, I, I used some scrap and so I'll, I'll be piecing it together. And before I glue this in, I will be trimming it so that these little uh, fibers don't stick up. And I will be using power grab glue to stick it down. I'm happy to have finished two projects this week and started another two. That's putting it together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.